Hello, this is Barrier, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for 911 Operator. As we continue our story mode run here in Anchorage, Alaska, we are on chapter six of, I think I just looked up, uh, there are 10 total chapters with the DLC that I do have. Uh, so we're a little past the way halfway point in some sense, but I'm definitely getting a lot more content out of this game than I expected, uh, which is pretty cool. But uh, I don't know exactly how many more duties we have. Well, I guess we'll find out as we continue to progress. I also don't know if there's still a blizzard going on right now, which would impact our ability to use some of our vehicles. Um, Let's see here. How would we find out? I guess I could just put a helicopter in here. And if it lets me, well, I'd, I'd want to get it all set up. I was going to say I could test the helicopter, but no, we want to get it all set up. Because what if it does actually work and then I'd have like just a, a helicopter out there doing nothing. Um, How do we want to do this? We do have some staff uh, coming back from injury, so we have a few. Uh, we pl plug the firefighters in right away, I suppose. Uh, we don't have any other firefighting type vehicles, so we'll just plug you guys in to this vehicle for now. And then we do have one more police officer for, so we can put you in with this thing. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of one of the pickup trucks. And we're gonna bring in the helicopter, uh, which only has one person. I'll put the guy that's got 95 driving in there. Just feels like somebody with good driving is a better fit for a helicopter. Um, we do still have the motorcycles available. Which I'm okay with keeping one of the pickups maybe around. Well, we do have two motorcycles. We could just plug these guys into two different motorcycles. But now we have enough officers for one of the pickups. So what we'll do is we'll just get rid of one of these. Uh, although I don't have this one filled out, to be fair. So that might be a better use of our people here. Now, we were using this just as a thermal imager type thing. But it, at one point in time, well, obviously, it was kind of my pseudo SWAT vehicle, which there technically is a SWAT vehicle down here. Well, basically the armored van, but uh, it's very expensive. Um, all right, I'm just going to add in one of the motorcycles. And we'll plug in we'll give these two guys here into that spot. Uh, we will go ahead and give them both weapons because they probably will need that. We give them a first aid kit and a technical tool. And I think that'll be a good setup. Uh, as far as you, I mean, thermal imagery, maybe that would be good for you. And then what else would you be good with? Any other equipment that would be useful for somebody who's flying around in the air? I mean, system terminal. Maybe it's about the only thing that makes some sense. I guess night vision. Oh, the shooting actually. Never mind. No, I think uh, I think the uh, system terminal makes the most sense here, just to help them be where they need to be and resolve things faster. I'm not gonna give them any sort of weapons because they're gonna be flying around. I, I feel like that would be not super important. Um, I do kind of want to fill out the van here. I mean, it doesn't have to be a full SWAT van, I suppose, but you know, it is gonna be a van full of. At some point in time, multiple police officers. And I guess right now we can actually put three officers in there. We'll be able to put more once some of these injuries get resolved. Which does mean that we can spread these out for one. I'm going to put these in the second slot because I like to put the weapons in the first slot. Uh, we will go ahead and give you guys some bigger weaponry. Although now that I'm seeing this, we did have the bulletproof vest. So maybe we actually just get rid of those. We can just go ahead and make this back to be our SWAT van of sorts. And... There's the worst shooting. You do, so I'll just give you a handgun. Just be fine with that. Actually, I'm going to swap you two guys around. Give you the shotgun. And we'll give you a handgun up there. I don't think the pickup truck's going to be really getting itself into too much trouble. It's mostly there for, like, rescue type stuff. Ideally. Um... I feel like I like most of this so far. We do still have 
the medical helicopter, which we could just pull somebody out of one of these. Grab this guy, I guess. And we will put the medical helicopter out there. We've got it. We might as well use it. And again, I'm assuming that we will be able to use it. This does only give us one medical person right now, but we will have another one later. Uh, and then we will give you we'll give you a chest compression system as well as a I'd like to give you the defibrillator actually. I think we just need to get us another defibrillator. Alright, that looks pretty good for now. Any other slots that we could plug in some equipment? I mean, we could plug something in here if we really wanted to. I mean, I don't know that I'll ever come up, but I guess we could give you a chest compression system. Oh, really? Okay. We could give you... Well, we could dish out a couple more search and rescue vests, I suppose, to a couple of these guys. Um, I mean, you've already got technical stuff, but I guess more technical tools. As long as we have them, wouldn't hurt. For that matter, more for aid kits wouldn't hurt. What about thermal imaging? Okay, you can have thermal imaging. We'll give you one of those. And we will give you just another first aid kit just to fill things out here. Um, we'll give one of you guys thermal imaging. We will give... I mean, we could double up on the first aid kits, I suppose. Just because we have it. We might as well use it. Whatever, I'll give it to one of you guys in case one of you guys gets injured. Something of that nature feels like it will be okay. Do we need another chest compression system up here somewhere, maybe? Um, You don't have one, so let's go ahead and give you one. Just to kind of, like I said, dish everything up. Make sure everybody's got filled up. We got the equipment. We're going to use it. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's go with that and hope that it's not still a blizzard. Because then I have to redo all this. <laughs> so, um, What other vehicles did we have left? Okay, so we do have a couple more police vehicles. We have no more staff. We could hire more, but so it will be a vehicle of blizzard. Okay. I'm sure it told me that before I ended the last session, but I did not, was not, could not remember. So obviously the two helicopters need to go away and we are also going to get rid of the motorcycle again. It's okay. I'll just redo a little bit of this. Not a huge deal, uh, which does mean we can bring the two pickup trucks back in. One and two. And give you guys I mean we're basically going to give you guys some similar equipment from what these guys up here have so that'll be we'll give you into one you into the other you go here now one of these guys is going to be alone uh, no we'll just pull one of these guys back out that's fine plug you down there which is okay I'm not going to give you the bulletproof vest, though. We will give you... Um, we're going to pull back some of the search and rescue vests from here. As well as the night vision from here. Cool. So, we'll give you guys search and rescue. And a weapon of sorts. And then we will give the front guys thermal. And also weapons. All right, that feels good again. I mean, we still have some extra equipment, but once we can use this, use those helicopters again, we'll be able to plug that all back in. So I'm okay with that. And all this stuff up here, I think is still okay. Uh, I mean, again, we could still just go ahead and distribute some various chest compression and other things out. Um, let's just put a first aid kit here. Um, technical tools. I guess we'll give one of you guys technical tools just because. Cool. All right. We'll go with that now. So that should be good. And yeah, more blizzard. Fun. We know this van gets stuck a lot, so that's going to be a little awkward, but we'll just have to go with it. All right. Everything looks mostly good i think all of our pickup trucks are here though they are so we'll spread you guys out a bit all right 
That feels mostly okay. All right, we got a pedestrian hit, police car, and a medical. So we'll send you, we'll send you. Hopefully you guys can get there. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hey, I'm calling to report a bum. Okay, so what's going on there? This beggar is coming to my bar, and he's bothering my customers. Could you please tell me your address? I'm at. Hmm. It sounds like he may be hungry. It's a simple fix. Just give him some food. I guess you're right. I'll find him something to eat. Bye. <laughs> okay. I'm this is a frozen car lock. We'll just send you over there. This is a unit stuck in the snow, which is our unit that's here. We'll get you over there to try and help out as much as we can. Uh, we got pedestrian here. Let me just slow things down. Pedestrian here, it's here, so we'll send medical. We'll send the pickup. Alright, send you back more central. Up oh, there is a medical. Let's send you up there. What is that actually going to be? It is a fall from high building. Actually, you're going to need an actual ambulance. Uh, are you not coming down here? Come on down, buddy. Uh, we will need an ambulance over there, though. Um, really don't want to send this guy from all the way across this side of things. We may just have to wait for this one to be resolved. Just let this guy stabilize him as best as he can. This is a trapped in an elevator. Let's see if you can get down there and help with that. So they're headed back to the hospital as best as they can. We do have a fall up here. I mean, I guess we've got to get you to make it somewhere. So we're going to get you started slowly making your way up there. Probably not going to make it very quickly. Our medical is our worst at the moment as far as trying to get things moved around. A frozen man here. All right, well, you've got to go. Let's see. Can we get somebody to go help him? Let's see if you can get over there and help him a little bit. Gotta get medical transport over here. This is a trapped in the elevator. We'll just send a basic fire truck, although it'll probably get stuck. And everything moves so slow. Maybe I should just turn this guy around and come back over here with the guy on board, but I don't know. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Hello, I want to report a missing person. Who's missing? My husband. When did you see him for the last time? This morning. Does he have a phone? I tried to call him. He won't pick mm. up. It just rings and rings. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? No. I called two of his friends, but they don't know anything. He's, he's not with them, and he didn't mention going anywhere afterward. Ma'am, what's the address of the place where he was last seen? It's all in the Hmm. Uh... I'll notify the proper forces. They'll conduct a search. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh my god. Goodbye. All right, let's slow this down a little bit. Let me react to a couple things here. We're about to get this guy dropped off here, which means he can come over here and try to help transport this. Um, so you're not finding anything yet. We're going to keep doing the search. We need to send another pickup or something down there. Um, all right, let me get this guy real quick. We're going to go there. Go over there, please. And then, unit stuck in the snow, you can help with that. Our copy. Go in 
I think, I hope. Uh, you are continue to look. You're looking along here. We need to send something down here. I guess we can send the dog. Maybe they can help a little bit, if they can even make it. Um, oh, do we not have somebody still coming up here? Oh, you're, you're the guy that's stuck in the snow. Uh, so how about you come try to help this person out real quick? See if you can make it there. Uh, this is a broken bone. Again, we don't really have a lot of people looking to help. We're going to send you up there to try and help with that as best you can. Um, Alright, so you're going to need to try and look around. Please. Did we get the snow stuff figured out? Please go up there and help that. Sector's clear over here. You're going to keep looking. It's a very large sector to look. Okay, you're going to look down here. Got medical transport coming, but man, it's going to take a long time to get over there. Um, I guess we can try and send this police car down here to help. Again, I don't know that's going to actually make it. Okay, well, you're sort of helping. Thank you. Uh, these are all getting sort of semi-resolved. Uh, the ambulance here needs to come over here probably to help with this guy. If it can make it. Did you finally get... Oh, no, you're supposed to be going up there, not the fire truck. Fire truck, stay down here. Alright, so you're still looking. Pickup truck's looking. You're going really slow, I know, but <laughs> there's kind of a lot of going on here, and I've got to send suboptimal teams, um, which is making things a little bit challenging. Uh, I guess just keep looking. Around. I guess you can make that path, because that's going to help you look around this river. Hopefully, or a little lake, whatever, so we can hopefully can find something. Um, what are you doing? Are you trying to help resolve this? Heavily, heavily injured. You are going to need transport. We do have transport coming. Uh, you're still searching. What about here? This is, unfortunately, one heavily injured as well. So we will need transport there as well. Did this person just die? Hope not. No, we just still need medical transport, which we are sending, but it's going to be very slow. That's the thing. We just needed better medical transport. Well, there weren't pickup trucks for medical, were there? This is a frozen man, which we don't have anybody able to go there. Let's send you there. Maybe you can at least help a little bit. Let's bring you back a little bit more sort of central. Um, we're still doing searches here with what we got, although some of these cars are going very slow. I guess I can speed it up a little bit, but I'm a little nervous that this is going to go faster than I can handle. Alright, so you're still searching. You guys are searching that. Just... Settle myself again. Spot of the broken bone. Again, we are taking forever to get over here. Uh, you actually, yeah, you are going there. And you're just going to go to the slow, the quicker spot. So you're going to go there. That's fine. There is a frozen man here, unfortunately. So, um, I guess you go try to help him out as best as you can. Yeah, we just need more transports. Like, the medical transport thing is going to be really, really challenging here. Object not understood. Keep looking, my friend. What are the orders? You keep looking along here, I guess, as best you can. Now, we need medical transport here, too. Man, we need medical transport every now. This guy who's coming over here can come back and pick this guy up on his way back. So that should be fine. Oh, this was resolved. Okay, so you can actually come over here. Of course you're stuck in the snow. All right, you're going to go help him get unstuck, because he can't go anywhere until he gets unstuck anyway. All right, what are we looking at over here? we still got a few more spots to look. Quite a few more spots to look. Um, you're going to come down here and try to help with that, if you can make it. What do we got going on here? Again, it's more heavily injured stuff. Like, we're trying to stabilize these people, but there's really not much we can do. There's so many frozen people. Blizzards are bad, man. We should have put more medical transports, I guess, but they just, they're just not good. That's the problem. Their medical transports on this are not good. I guess if we get another option, we'll, I, I'm going to take another look. I don't think I saw any, did I, were there pickups? There might have been pickups, and I just don't remember.
Still doing the look down here. Unit's still stuck in the snow. Not much we can do about that. I mean, this unit's going to take forever to get over here, and so is this unit. I mean, these 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 medical units are so slow. Okay, so let's slow back down. We did find the object finally. Uh, trapped in house. I mean, you try to make your way over there, but you're going to be the one that probably has to help. Uh, you're going to try and help with this as best you can. Uh, we did get this unit unstuck finally. And you're going to try and come over here now that you're unstuck. You're going to come just back to the fire station. That's fine. For now. All right. Well, that's everything's like got somebody going to it for now. But again, a lot of these are not ideal. All right, so if that guy... Okay, slow back down. If that guy's going to get actual medical service, then you just come down here somewhere. We might just need you down in this area. Uh, you can actually come back as well. Just kind of maybe come back over here somewhere. This guy's actually helping with that. Unless you're about to get the medical there. The medical there is not super far away. Medical here is a long ways away. Like a long ways away. All right, there's a police situation, so I guess the dog can go up here. Family abuse, that's unfortunate. That's more than unfortunate. <laughs> that's a, that's actually a, a very low, uh, not, not a properly phrased word for that. That's just sad on every level. All right, you're actually helping with the frozen man there. Appreciate that. You still need medical transport here. This guy's still a long ways away from. All right, anything we... Should we do anything with you? On, no, you're going to make it to the hospital, but you might be able to make it to this guy before this guy gets turned back around. This guy, thankfully, is finally almost there, which is... This is actually almost resolved, so by the time he gets there, maybe they'll be ready to transport back to the hospital as well. All right, we do have a situation back here. Uh, we did a pedestrian. Okay, we're going to have you come down here. You'll be able to help a little bit with that. Are you going to be able to resolve this? Are you actually going to be able to resolve this? So this fire truck... Does not need to make it all the way there. That pickup truck is going to be able to handle that on its own. Uh, anything else here? Um, you're still making your way there. You're almost, almost there. All right, this guy's done, but he does shouldn't need to be helped there because like it's only got 18 seconds left. They are going back to the hospital. We do have a new call. 911, what's your emergency? Please help. A truck skidded across the highway and flipped over. It's right in the middle of the road. Please send help. Where did it happen? Um, I'm not sure. I don't really know the area. Do you have GPS? I don't have one. Okay, um, do you see any landmarks or buildings around you? Something that might help tell you where you are. Hold on. Yes, uh, I can see a building with an address on it. It says... Can you tell if anyone's injured? I don't know. I can't see or hear anything from where I'm standing. Should I approach the truck and check? Get close enough to check what cargo it was carrying. Um, it's a dump truck. It had a load of sand and it's all over the road. Look around the truck and check the cab to see if there's anyone who needs medical attention, okay? The driver's inside. Uh, he's unconscious. Damn, he's completely stuck. The dashboard and steering wheel have him pinned. There's no way I can get him out. Help is on the way. If you can, secure the scene. If you have a roadside emergency kit, set your reflective triangle behind your vehicle and stay there until the emergency services arrive. Okay. Is there anything else I could do? That's all. Help will arrive soon. Okay, I'll be waiting. Alright, so we'll be sending a couple of people there. Um, you, I guess, come help with that. We, as soon as this guy drops off, we'll have him come down and help with this, and maybe he can pick this guy up on his way back as well. Um, you're dropping off to come pick this guy up before you completely drop off. Um, 
You're trying to help the frozen man. You're trying to help the family abuse situation. Do we still know what's going on here? Maybe I was off in 28 seconds. I guess I should have had you drop off there on your way by. That was a mistake. Now, entrance in hospital. You're going to come down here, please. All right. I mean, I think that's everything for the moment that we can do. This guy's finally almost here. Um, thankfully, it looks like this will get resolved here in a few seconds without having to send an ambulance there. That's good. Um, what else we got? That's not possible. That's not possible. Okay, how about, can you not go there? All right, you're done there. Good. Let's bring you back a little bit more central if you can. You're almost there. You're there. Um, you are unfortunately heavy injured, so you're going to have to pick this guy up on the way back. This guy's almost there. You're actually, instead of going over there, you're going to come down here to help with this, because hopefully this guy can get there and help with that. Anything else? Not at the moment. All right, so the medical transport is sending a person back now. You really need to stop and try and pick this guy up on your way back. Um, the four-wheeler, I don't know, just come back up in this area, I guess, for now. All right, we do have a, what is this, a fall? Uh, I mean, four-wheeler, try to make your way there, I suppose. Although, actually, this police car is closer and probably can at least help. So actually, you just stay in this area. Alright, so we have some injured going to the hospital. I mean, this guy is close to here, but... I think for now, we're going to let you go back to the hospital with your two people. You are supposed to be coming here, my friend. Units are stuck in the snow. Of course they are. Um... Trying to help with that, please. You cannot. Are you one of the ones stuck in the snow? Probably. Okay. Um, I'm assuming you're going to need transport. No, I'm going to be resolved in a few seconds. Thank you. Oh, I didn't mean to move that off the screen. I didn't know you could move that off the screen. Okay. That's fine. We'll come back to that. Okay, what is your situation? I mean, there is a heavily injured. We are trying to resolve the obstacle. We need to send a technical vehicle over there. If you can make it your way there, please try. Alright, this is just a one drop, so that should be able to be resolved without the ambulance itself. Usually, um, you, you just need to make your way back over here somewhere. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. We're getting there. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff going on, which, you know, is normal. All right, slow down a little bit. We're going to send you up there for sure. This is a traffic accident. We probably will need medical transport, which this guy should be able to swing up there when he's done with what he's doing, hopefully. Um, I guess we will send, just in case, we'll send the pickup truck that way as well. How about the situation? I mean, it's getting resolved. So they are... Okay, are you not there? Alright, you need to come over and help with this guy too, unfortunately. Alright, this is almost there. You're gonna... You're making your way back. We got some people coming up here. We still need to pick up this thing. But not much we can do about it right now. Okay, so truck's stuck in the snow. Um, I guess come down here for a second. Actually, no, you go there. You still continue on to where you were going. All right, you still need to try and help, head up that way if you can, please. You are actually done. So actually, you can make your way th there, which means you actually 
can make your way there, and which means this guy can stay here for now. Medical transport needed. Did you not make it way? Come on, buddy. You're supposed to be. I mean, you must have gotten stuck in the snow or something. And I did not notice. All right, speed things back up a little bit here. All right, pause, pause, pause. All right, so this is a fall from high building, which we're going to send you up there. We're also going to send the police car. Or no, we'll send you. You'll be able to get there a little bit quicker. Probably will need medical transport. We'll have to deal with that here in a bit. This guy's already kind of halfway here, so we just got to let him continue for now. Hopefully this is resolved soon. Blocked by obstacle. Well, the fire truck's almost there to help with the obstacle, so that will be good. Why can't you do it now? Try, but you try again, please. All right. Um, I gotta turn you around. How bad is this? Okay, that's pretty bad. We're gonna need some medical there of some sort. Actually, they're gonna have it resolved relatively quickly. Let's send you there as well. How are we looking here? Um, resolved in three seconds. Good. That'll get you back to the hospital very quickly. Um, and then we can use this transport for something, hopefully. Ready for the next case. Said he needs more hospitals. Having to go really far just to get things dropped off. All right, I guess try to make your way up here, please. Uh, try to make your way up there, please. I'm going to move this technical vehicle up this way because I assume one, is, one or both of these guys is going to get stuck. For that metal, I'll move this guy over this way as well. These are resolved, so we're good there. So we just got these three up here. We just got to get our vehicles to get there. Go help with that, please. Make your way up here. You make your way up here. All right, you're good, you're good. Just got to get this one. I don't know, not bad. I mean, it took a little while, but... That's very a lot going on. It's like again, it kind of goes back to that suboptimal teams. I've got to like figure out how to get people moved around properly. I, I definitely think if we can get a medical pickup truck, we just need to. If the bill is just going to keep going. All right. Uh, I don't think we missed much on that one. That was that was a pretty good run. Yeah, no negatives. Um, 
decent chunk of money. That's good. A few promotions. That's good. And then we'll also have some people coming back from their injuries as well. Ah, chapter seven. All right, all right. So, presumably the blizzard is now finally over. In theory. Uh, so we will try this again. Speaking of blizzard, let me just check here. Nope. There's a medical car. Don't know that that will go any faster. I mean, I guess it would. Speed is 150 compared to 100 here and 100. So yeah, it would be a little bit faster, but not any more off-road worthy, I suppose. All right. Um, let's... Okay, I think we can go ahead and deck out... Actually, you know what? That episode took a little bit longer. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, we will do another... We'll start Chapter 7 in the next episode. Uh, presumably without blizzards now. So hopefully we can get our helicopters back in here. But we will see. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.